probably think that that three-two home win against Arsenal. You know, ma massive, massive team coming to St Mary's and no real pressure on us. It was a sellout crowd. It was, it was really noisy. I think that was a, a, a big win for us against. You know, a, at that time we're we're a team that were either either coming first or second in the Premier League. I'm sure, Delgado scored in that game, didn't he? Yeah. On our day, we were a, a good team and a match for anyone, and we turned a few a few big teams over there. The national anthem when I made my England debut. That's looking, having the chance to reflect on it because my dad was in the crowd and obviously he's no longer with us. And I hope for him that it was a, a proud moment because I only started playing football when I was 14, really, because I was a swimmer before that. A lot of people wrote me off, all the, you know, basically all the way through my career, and that was a proud moment for myself and my family. One of the best achievements was, was playing a part in The Great Escape. When you're living it and you're, you're, you're present in the moment, you probably don't realise the significance of it. Not just to the team, to the club, to the city, but having have time to reflect was an unbelievable journey. Of course, we don't want to be involved in that end of the table, but to get the result that we did and to, and to be able to talk about it positively, it was a, a, a sort of great introduction and grounding for me. I think the one against West Brom at home, the one the one nil win was, and I don't know whether I've changed. I, I, I'm sure I used to say years ago the half volley at Sunderland at Stadium of Light because it you know it's a, it's a spectacular goal. It's it's technically very difficult to execute, but I think the West Brom one, me with my sort of coach's head on, is is the most difficult, and and obviously again got us the three points uh, and a win on the day. I remember Anders scoring a good goal, and the ball the ball came into me, and I chested it, and the defender came, and I just flicked it over his head, and then I played a ball forward, and we scored from it. And I thought in my own mind, I thought, yeah, that was all right, that beats. But I remember crossing a few, and I think I think centre forwards, they, they're quite good at crossing a ball because you actually know what you want yourself. So I thought, you know, I, I was I was half decent at crossing, and and can remember putting a couple over. I think, you know, for Marion. Definitely Stamford Bridge, 1st of January 2002. It was a long way out. I think there's a still of Marion in one of the pictures, I think, is, and he's looking at me as if to say, what are you doing? And probably the, the gaffer was saying exactly the same thing. But again, that confidence to, to, take, to take on the opportunity and yeah, just hit it as hard as I could and it went right in the top corner. I think Tiz is, it, it was such a, you know, a blessing for me to be able to go into that dressing room and, and learn from somebody like that because he was he was so well revered in the dressing room and and in football in general and and still is now because you know his goals were as his DVD suggests unbelievable, but he was like that he was like that every day in training and for for a young lad from you know, from Blackburn to come in and, and learn from somebody like that, not, not just football, but as, as a person and how to treat people, he was the best. Best manager was Gordon Strachan. Again, massive, massive character. You'll have seen, and you mentioned before, his, his interviews. I had huge respect for him, you know, I still do, still speak to him. But for me, personally, he knew how to get the best out of me. There was ultimate respect for him but you always knew where the line was and he would actually, you know, take the mickey out of himself, which endeared you further to him. I am a traditionalist, but enjoyed them both. The, the sort of old fashioned look and feel to the Dell and how, how we used to sort of weaponize the environment of the Dell to try and gain an advantage on our opponents. And then the sort of change of environment to St Mary's was it was it was more open space and we struggled initially to, to adapt to a new stadium you know but when we when we got St Mary's rocking it was we've had some you know as we mentioned before we had some really good really good games there and really good results the derbies were 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 really good we were at a point where the atmosphere was was brilliant yeah, you know, it was a sellout. The lads were, were playing decent stuff, getting 
decent results, you know, decent position in the league, and I, I felt that the, 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 the football club was the catalyst for the whole city. I remember the times we played them at St Mary's, played them at night and at day, and it was, it, they were both electric atmospheres. My favourite one used to be White Hart Lane. White Hart Lane was, was I don't know, Anfield's another, um, Anfield's another good one. Again, that traditional feel of, um, and again, probably coupled with good memories from, you know, various games there. And but that was White Hart Lane was my favourite. For me, you know, me personally, I think White Hart Lane. That when I got the header and the, the free kick, I remember the sun was shining. We, we was playing in the yellow kit. You know, I had a silly haircut, but which what I thought was cool at the time. It was just a, a you know, a real good away performance that. West Ham away, yeah, we won one 0 and we scored late on again. You know, being being fit and being ready and being prepared to turn up 40 minutes before a game and then put a performance in like we did and to win as well. You know, having having had time to and, and thinking with you know my my coach's hat on, probably that's a that's one of the best performances I've been involved in. Thierry Henry, he was just unbelievable. He came, he came to our dressing room after the FA Cup final and he asked for my shirt. And I was like, what? And he went, yeah. He said, you've had a, you know, you've had a really good season. I said, well, you know, can I have yours? And he went, yeah, of course. And he signed, he signed it for me. Um, it's up in my house. For a young player, for someone of that stature to come and he, asked, he came and knocked on the dressing room door and asked for my shirt. Best thing about Southampton, I, I would actually say that Southampton's probably now my home. You know, I, I really enjoyed the playing for the club, uh, even though it was a long time ago. Still, still love the club now, and obviously, you know, wish it the best. Uh, but it's probably home now for me.